Today, what I'm doing is I'm testing uh, my aluminum can stove, and at the same time, I'm melting petroleum jelly, some AKA Vaseline. And uh, once I get it melted, I'm going to saturate cotton balls and use those as fire starters. I saw a video uh, which you can use these. Um, cotton balls as fire starters and then while it's still warm if I can move that fast put it in a container and reserve those later for uh, fire starting on a and put some of those in my bob or um, putting those in my camping supplies so just waiting for the melt it's starting to melt slightly right there you see there so once it's done there then I will test uh, a new idea I just got in my head a few moments ago so be right back okay folks well after I melted the petroleum jelly I just put a handful actually a couple handful of cotton balls in there and mixed it all up together so what you got is uh, saturated cotton balls and they are ready to be used for fire starting so now the second test and the idea that just came in my head was a attempting a different uh, fuel medium for the camp stove the aluminum stove here and I thought to myself hey if the petroleum jelly is good enough to start a fire using a cotton ball wick why can't I use the petroleum jelly in excess with a cotton ball small cotton ball wick and then when it melts see if it comes up from the burners so there is nothing inside the can the can is completely empty no fuel no nothing in the can the can is empty cool to the touch so what I'm going to do is just put this, scoop the petroleum jelly in, try to get it to seat at the bottom as close as I can in the center. Okay, so I got a nice little globule of petroleum jelly down there in the center. Now what I'm going to do is take a small bit of cotton kind of roll that in my fingers use that as a wick so I just placed it right on top of the petroleum jelly I'm going to stuff it down in there a little bit and I'm going to light it and let's see what happens. So clean off my hands a little bit here. Now the camera so everybody can watch what I'm doing. Move my can forward. There we go. All right. So, make sure you can see everything. Can you see everything? This has my fat fingers. There we go. Alright. So, let's see how it works. I like the wick. It doesn't take very long to like that wick. That cotton goes up. What I'm hoping it happen is kind of like a candle effect where the wick would melt the uh, petroleum jelly. And look at that. I will be a monkey's uncle. As that wick is burning, 
that petroleum jelly is turning into a liquid and it keeps it hot so it keep it's hot so it stays in a in a liquid state it doesn't allow it to turn into a solid Nope. I don't think petroleum jelly is going to work for this project. Um, the fire, I guess, is not hot enough to keep that, to keep the jelly lit. But while the wick was still burning, the fire kept flaming. So I'm going to try another wick. This time I'm not going to put it into the fluid, uh, the center. Wow. I'm going to put it on the center but away from all the uh, melted petroleum jelly. covering to see if we can keep the heat more of the heat inside. Nope. That went right out. Okay. Let's try with the not covered. I mean the the wick is getting a little bit charred but not burning. And it starts up real easy. Super easy. Okay, so, whoop, my hand's there. So let's see if I can get it hot enough to the point where it can actually be a fuel source for a aluminum camp stove like this. It's not going to work. Oh well, hey, it was worth a try. Great for fire starting, not very good for your aluminum can stove. Yeah, the wick is completely, almost completely burned out. That's just the leftover from the first wick that's still burning. It seems like it wants to go, but the problem is that the petroleum jelly, even melted, is too heavy to come up to those burners. Well, that's not going to work, so let's put that out and call that. There we go. Huh? Thanks for watching. May God bless you and those who serve in the United States military.